French street artist Zeus is known for his graffiti-like art and was a pioneering figure in the French street art scene in the 1990s. The reclusive artist was in Hong Kong this week to prepare for an exhibition at Art Statements Gallery in the Soho district. Although his artwork would be confined within the gallery, we asked him if he would ever like to apply his art on the streets of Hong Kong. No, but it's many opportunity to work. Huh? I like to work with the light, I like to work with, with the signs, with... Uh, uh, and... Uh, it's, I have many opportunity to do it. Huh? I think I will... I will do it. A few days after this interview took place, Zoys put his words into action. In the early hours of the 13th of July, he applied his trademark liquidation technique to the facade of Giorgio Armani's boutique store in Central. He used the Chanel logo to, quote, reflect the war of brands. Zeus, whose real name is Christoph Schwartz, was consequently arrested for the action and pleaded guilty in court to one count of criminal damage. Representatives of Giorgio Armani demanded nearly 6.7 million Hong Kong dollars in damages, claiming they were unable to clean the paint left by the artist. Zeus expressed surprise at the cost, calling it surrealistic. He said he deliberately used a type of water-based paint that should have been easily removed. But prosecutors claimed the wall was not washable because it was made of sandstone and needed to be entirely replaced. For now, a giant cover hangs over Zeus's handiwork as the case is adjourned till the 14th of August. Continuing on from our formal interview with the artist, Zeus introduces some of his other artworks, starting with his renowned liquidation technique. In the continuity of this work, I have uh, developing this uh, liquidated uh, logo work. Here it's in the public space. Um, McDonald's signs, Coca-Cola sign, and Louis Vuitton. Here you can see a work with um, shadows in the streets. This work consists to paint the outline of the shadows during the night with a road paint. By outlining the shadows, I make it more visible during the night and it keeps a trace of these uh, shadows during the day. This is a different type of work. We return in the public space, in the streets. Um, it's a series called Visual Attacks. And the meaning of this work was to, to kill um, these uh, corporate images with a um, uh, red color, with a point uh, of red color placing in the face of these models or by dripping from the eyes. Um. Um, a painting on the facade of uh, a classical museum in Denmark, in Copenhague, the Glyptothek, and using a special type of paint that I create myself, um, it's an invisible paint during the day, and it's starts to be visible by night when the electric light uh, switch on and uh, I change the, the color of, of the electric lamp. I put filter on it and that's uh, make, that's create the the, the reaction that make it, this painting visible by night. This, this mask and uh, these suits 
the, the sense, the, the reason why I have started to, to use these uh, costumes and it was to, to work uh, in the streets. To, um, it's a yellow color, it's, it's really flashy, but the paradox it's in the streets when you are in this, under this color, uh, you are as invisible. People don't uh, really uh, care of you because you, as a chameleon, you, you take the color of the streets and people thinking that you work on it. And that gave me uh, more freedom to work. And the mask, the idea of the mask was to protect myself from the gaze of um, the painting of the spray can. I also like yellow. I can't <laughs> wear myself in yellow if I don't like this color. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.